my pleasure to introduce a dear friend of mine. We have spoken together across the country, and actually I called him last minute to see if he'd come up and supplement. He is the pastor of Fair Park Bible Fellowship down in the Dallas area, and as this is a federalist issue, it's up to each state to take care of itself. This man has taken it upon himself to lead and to protect life and marriage effort for the state of Texas. Please welcome Pastor Stephen Broden. Yeah! Hello, fellow patriots, yeah! constitutionalists, right. men and women who are aware of the threat that is facing our nation. We're facing an authentic and genuine threat. One that is not sourced in ignorance, but is a deliberate attempt on the part of the liberal left, the progressive movement in America, to forever change us. They called it a fundamental change. Somebody needed to ask, what are you wanting to change? We are facing this threat, men and women, because many of us have been asleep at the wheel. Thomas Jefferson said, an educated citizenry is a vital requisite for our survival as a free people. Amen. Our freedom, our liberty is in jeopardy. For those of you who are just attending a political rally for the first time, welcome. Where in the have you been? <laughs> Men and women, what we're facing here, and I need to say this in order for us to have a context of what's going on in America. Something is happening, and I submit to you, it's happening deliberately. Oh, yes. Karl Marx said, my objective in life is to dethrone God and to destroy capitalism. Right. Let me ask you a question. Do you see God being dethroned in America? Yes. Do you see capitalism being regulated and destroyed systematically oh, yeah. in America by our elected officials? This is communism, men and women. This is socialism that is coming at us. And we need to recognize what it is in order for us to defeat it. Joseph Stalin said this observing America. America is like a healthy body and its resistance is threefold. Its patriotism, its morality, its spiritual life. If we can undermine these three areas, America will collapse from within. Do you hear the walls of America collapsing? Those of us who are patriots, we have been ridiculed and disparaged within the left-leaning media. And if you stand up and wave the flag today, they will call you a nutcase. Because we believe in America. Our spiritual life is being taken away from us by Darwinism, socialism, human secularism, communism. Men and women, all of those isms have one thing in common. They're all anti-God. Right. And our children in these academic institutions across America are embracing it. An anti-God demonic system. And Christians, we have been silent for too long. Amen. He says we will undermine these three areas if we can get rid of their patriotism, their spiritual lives, and their morality. This is happening right before our eyes. And let me call it what it is. It's socialism, it's communism, it's a deliberate attempt to fundamentally change us by ripping our faith from our nation. And we've been silent for too long. These people control the media. And they are setting out to destroy America and their target for doing this, listen to me carefully, is the black community That's right. and the poor community. That's right. It's not an accident 
that they have established their agenda among us. Saul Linsky says we organize for power. Coward and Piven says we will use the poor and the black community as a battering ram against the system. And that's what's happening, men and women. And the question is, how did it happen within the black community? It happened because we wrestle not against flesh and blood. This is a spiritual conflict. It's a spiritual conflict. There is a spiritual attack on our community and our pastors and our spiritual leaders have been asleep at the wheel. The Bible says in the last days, a deluding spirit will go out and deceive many. We're in the middle of a deluding spirit. They've already deceived my community. Colossians 2 and 8 says, see to it that no one takes you captive through philosophy and empty deception according to the principles of the world, elementary principles of the world and the traditions of men rather than according to Jesus Christ. Political correctness has shut down the church in America, has rendered us impotent and we have capitulated to PC above BC, biblical correctness and God knows we don't care about CC anymore, constitutional correctness. But if we're going to rescue ourselves and to rescue this republic, we need to return to the Constitution. God gave it to us and we must use it. Listen to me. The Constitution is dying a slow death. A death of a thousand cuts. They're deliberately cutting away at the Constitution. Not only was Roe v. Wade unconstitutional, not only was Scottish decision on same sex was unconstitutional, Obamacare was unconstitutional. 70% of Americans said no to Obamacare and they did it anyway through the Supreme Court. And they do not have the right to legislate. That's extra constitutional. It's illegal. And we said nothing. Nothing. The onus is on you. You need to educate yourself. Train yourself to know what's going on. That this is communism working from within. Antonio Grimsey. A philosopher and communist said this, we cannot destroy America with arms and revolution, but we will destroy America from within through incrementalism and through infiltration. Some of the biggest communists in America are operating in the Senate, in the House of Representatives, and in the executive branch of our nation. Because we are oblivious to what, who they are and what they are, we have allowed them to operate unfettered, unchecked, when the power resides with you. It's time for you to stand up. The liberals have been using a tactic against us that we must employ. The template for what we must do, men and women, happened in the civil rights movement. Right. Amen. That's the template. That's right. They're using it against us now. Right. Black Lives Matter Amen. is being organized by communists and they're not ashamed to tell you that. Wow. They're organizing them. George Soros is sponsoring them and they're using the black community as a wedge to divide us. Most black Americans are not behind Black Lives Matter, but you would never know that looking at Fox News or any of the news outlets. They never raise up the conservative black voice. Never. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Every time Bill O'Reilly has a black person on his show, it's a liberal, 
or a concern, a, 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 a liberal or a communist or a socialist. And they're mouthing what they believe the black community wants is not what they want, it's what they want to do to it. And you're oblivious to it. Ben Carson is not an anomaly. He's representative of many of us. Amen. May I say to you, that this issue of state rights, this state's rights, is going to be disparaged by the LGBT community. Oh, yeah. And they're going to call it a racist movement. Right. That is just a, a Saul Alinsky effort to disparage and to turn you away from fighting for your state rights. Right. Don't believe the hype. Fight on anyway. Stand for what is right anyway. And push back against this tyranny. Same-sex marriage. If we don't stop it now, men and women, America is done. This is the final nail in the coffin. If we don't stand up against same-sex marriage now, it's over. Listen to me. All the major institutions that influence us today have already bought into it. Academia, the business community, government, media. They've targeted the family and the church. Some churches have already capitulated. And there's going to come a time when our kids coming home and your grandkids coming home from school and they're going to say, Mom, Dad, Granddad and grandmother, you're the only ones talking about this is wrong. Everybody else says it's right. You're the only one, Mom. You're the only one, Dad. You are the bigot. That's coming. If we don't stand up now. The time for fighting is now. It's not law. The Supreme Court did not, does not have a right to make it a law. Right. Laws are not generated from the Supreme Court. That's right. And you better stop it now. Yes. Let me issue a warning that was given to us by one of the descending justices. Samuel Alito said this, quote, Today's decision usurps the constitutional rights of the people to decide whether to keep or to alter traditional understanding of marriage. The decision will also have another important consequence. Pay attention. It will be used to vilify Americans who, will, who are unwilling to ascend to the new orthodoxy. It will be used to vilify. It will be used to vilify you because you don't agree with it. And that means they will come at you and they will throw you in jail. They will ridicule you and they will talk about you unless you stand up now. I'll end with this. When the state commands that which God forbids or forbids that which God commands, what should you do? Men ought to obey God rather than men. You better obey God. And the time for obeying Him is now. And I agree with the senator who was up here who was a preacher. He said, no. The time for confrontation, one preacher said, is now. Take a look at the civil rights movement, men and women. There is our template. Let me just say this one thing, Pastor, before I get down. Sit down. <laughs> Let me tell you how bad it is. In Indiana and Arkansas, they were going to support RIFA, the Religious Restoration Act, Freedom Act. And they had the Senate behind them and the Congress behind them and they were going forward. The governor stood up and said, we will do it. Mike Pence, same thing happened in Arkansas, but they backed up. You got to ask the question, why did they back up? 
They backed up because the business community stood up and said, if you do it, we're going to take our businesses out of your community, out of your state. And they backed up and capitulated. Same thing happened in Arkansas. And you know what would have stopped that nonsense? If the Christian church would have stood up and said to, to, to Tyson's Chicken and to, to Walmart and to uh, uh, the, the tractor company, I forgot to name it, and Angela's List would have said to them, if you continue to push our legislation, legislators to do what is immoral, we will not shop at your, we will not buy your chicken, we will not buy at Walmart, we will not use Angie's List, and you will be done. And they would have backed up and said, we're sorry, Christian community. We are sorry we withdraw, but we said nothing. Now it's time to stand up and fight. I'm Paul Blair in Texas. Amen.